And I'm super excited today. We are live with a very good friend of mine, Tom Wagner. And Tom is um, with Allstate Insurance. And we got to know each other this year. And Tom and I have been working together. Well, what's been super great is he's been coming to our Speakeasy networking events. And um, I'm really excited about Tom. He is constantly inviting other business owners to the events. And, you know, we started Speakeasy Networking during COVID when um, our governor had shut our city down and businesses were struggling. And we're the type of people, we don't get unemployment, right? So when you're a self-employed business owner, it's rough when you're told, you know, shut down your business. And I was like, no way, I am not having worked on my business for 20 years, 30 years, I'm not shutting anything down. So we created the event and, and uh, started with 18 people and we're up to about 120 business owners now each month. Um, but I, want to sh I wanted to hear from you, Tom. You've been with us now for a while. Um, what, are you, what is your experience of Speakeasy and what's, what's that for you? Oh, <clears throat> yeah. First of all, thank you for uh, inviting me. Uh, for me, it was as a uh, police officer, I didn't really understand small business because as a police officer, you get your check every two weeks, you, um, you know, do your job and, and you get a, a nice retirement hopefully at the end. So for me, when the governor shut us down, it really affected uh, the person that I was helping at the time, Mattress Furniture Store, and she was just struggling. And we had said to each other, hey, let's, let's make sure that we stay open. We're going to do everything that the governor says, wear masks, all this, you know, distancing and all this thing. And her business thrived after. Wow. And, and so that was key. And then fast forward now, you got an opportunity to buy an Allstate business. And it was just uh, December of this last year. So for me, I, I'm a new business owner. So yeah. I, I don't really understand the concept. And when you came in and taught our staff uh, that first day, I looked at my son, who's hopefully my business, well, he is my business partner, but hopefully this will be his legacy piece. I said to Tyler, I said, she's got it. Uh, whatever she has, I want. Um, and and to me, that was key because then I got introduced to you and Frank, started coming to the networking events. And as time consuming as they are, yeah. they take your time. But you know what? You only get rewarded as much as you put in. That's right. So for me, it was, okay, I'm going to dive in because I see the culture that you guys created. It's fun, good food, get a couple of alcoholic beverages if you want, <laughs> and, and just dive into each other. Yeah. Do business with people. And so then I started inviting people, other business owners, a locksmith, a solar guy. Uh, I got a, some other buddies in. And, and for me, that was key because now I got to see them grow their business. Yeah. Because now, oh, you do... Locksmith. I need yeah. a locksmith. You do whatever. And I've really gotten um, passionate about it now. I, I joined the Summerlin group. Yep. I live out in Summerlin, but yep. I come. I came to your guys' originally because it was the only one at the time. So for me, it was, hey, let's dive into this, give it 100%, and and help me grow my business. And it actually has. So Well, and, and I'm really glad to hear that. Speakeasy was all about that is, you know, I was just like nobody on my watch is going to fail. This is ridiculous. They're taking this to such a ridiculous, it, it's just such a ridiculous notion that we would shut our whole entire state down and our country for that matter. Be that as it may, it was about helping my friends here locally. And we were lucky enough, like we saved three business owners from bankruptcy. We've had two startups. I love to hear that, what it's doing for you. Um, and really... My principles have always been help each other grow. Like, I don't want to be rich by myself. Yeah. I want to make it to the top and have my friends with me. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want a vacation by myself. I want my friends to go with me. So wouldn't it make sense that everybody's successful? And that was the premise that we started this on. And and then I want to, I want to kind of transition this a little bit because... You know, I'm a financial planner and I work a lot with mortgages and, you know, your business is very integral to my business. You know, yeah. every time someone's buying a house, I said, you know, I need your homeowner's insurance. You're going to need to insure this house. And, you know, it's oftentimes um, clients are just so overwhelmed with everything that they have to pay for. And I'm all about, you know, getting the max bang for your buck. 
Um, I always talk about people like doing silly things like why are you paying $400 a month to store your furniture? You know, get rid of that stuff, save your money, put, put that money in savings. So what I loved about working with you guys is, you know, you guys are really great at bundling things. Can we talk about um, what kind of things you can do to save money as a homeowner or even just even as a renter? Um, working with someone like you, what are the things that people need to know, um, you know, if they're going to work with you? Yeah, sure. So when I uh, uh, started it and asked or really begged my son to get involved and, and be part of growing this thing and hopefully, like I said earlier, a legacy piece for him. Um, I said, what we need to do is make sure that we separate ourselves from everybody else. Everybody can get insurance from all the name brand places, all the small mom and pop places. The, you know, everybody wants a deal, but are they looking at it as, is that deal really worth it to them? And what I mean by that uh, is we want to separate ourselves and be known as the mortgage people. And so when you buy a house, you just listen to your mortgage person, you listen to your real estate guy, whoever that is, and if you have a relationship with an insurance company, you probably let them quote it and you don't even know what you're covered for. So when I took over the business, uh, we discovered, and unfortunately, um, you know, I, I don't like to talk about it, but there was a lot of fraudulent stuff within our book that we needed to erase. As a police officer, I believe in integrity. Yeah. As a good Christian man, I wanna make sure that I do life with these people. So they're not just my customers. Uh, we, we have a saying, it's the Wagner family. Welcome to the Wagner family. And I write a thank you note to everybody that signs up with us. That day, I write the note. My girls uh, make sure that they tell me what they brought to the table and I write them a thank you note because I want them to know that they're part of a family. Yeah. So in saying that, Tyler said, Dad, let's make sure that we separate ourselves. Because uh, Tyler was a professional baseball player, very fortunate to get um, some major league time with the Milwaukee Brewers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The reason I sell that, tell that story is he bought a beautiful house in Scottsdale. I was just so proud of him. You know, he had a 6,000 square foot house. Just, it was just beautiful. Wow. And I, uh, I remember him selling that and then coming to work for me. And he's like, Dad, I didn't even know what coverage I had in my own house. <laughs> I just let the guy decide for me. So he really took it upon himself to get educated in what yes. your coverages are. Yes. And to make sure that all the, the things that you have in your home, you are knowledgeable about. If you have a pool, you, that pool needs to be covered. Right. You know, uh, you have a casita. There's, there's incident that that could happen. If you don't have those things listed on your mortgage, your deck page, God forbid something happens, you're not going to be covered. And well, and I used to tell this to clients when, you know, when I do their, their loans and, and they're like, well, you know, this insurance company, you're rec you know, I can't always recommend somebody. I can give them a group yeah. of people, yeah. but well, your people seem to be more expensive. And I'm like, okay, here's what you need to understand. I work with only reputable companies that I know that if you have a claim, they're going to pay. Yeah. And yes, you're, the company you found might be cheaper, but you don't want them arguing with you for six months. You've had a fire in your house. You've got to get contractors in there. You want to get your life back and, and you don't want to be arguing with them for six months to pay a claim so you can get your life back. Yeah. And, and these are the things that we don't think about until we're in them. And being in business long enough, I've seen a lot of crazy things that can happen and you're right Tom like you got to have these things on there it's got to be accurate you know pools can have leaks there can be fires in homes yeah. I had an attic fire this some this winter how scary um so and, and those weren't you out without uh, heat for a while I was out because I remember coming to a speakeasy with a couple jackets on being from Minnesota going <laughs> Who is this lady? Yeah, uh, we were we without heat, heat for yeah. two months yeah. because it took a minute to get all that thing processed. And well, and that's something that when you have a uh, an agent that you trust, you're going to call and you're going to mm -hmm. say, "Hey, Tom, I need this fixed," and that's my job then to get on the horn and make sure that you know we have that coverage. Yeah. And when you talked earlier about bundling, I didn't even get a chance to talk about that. But yeah, let's do when, it. When you bundle products together. Not only do we as an agency look at you and go, hey, we can save you money by doing this, this, and this, but then you become part of the family like I talked about. And if you're going to have both of your products with you and maybe even a life insurance product, 
We're going to do reviews of those things every yes. six months to see where we are. If your lifestyle changed, so something that you talked talk to my staff about was, you know, we don't know that they may be coming to some money or mm-hmm. that they're struggling or we need to reduce some coverages just to help them out. So the reviews of the product is, is the key too, because yes. when you're bundling things, it's a great discount. But if it's not working for you six months later, we as an agency need to look at that and and make some changes. Yeah. And when we talk about bundling, for those of you that may or may not know, you know, you're bundling your car insurance with your home insurance and maybe you're covering a boat or adding that life insurance piece. You know, sometimes just adding a small amount of life insurance can make the cost of it even less. Adding a life insurance policy can make it less. Um, I found that to be true. Um, and I really am a big believer in being efficient with your money. And this is what the things I'm always talking about, you know, and I told a story the other day, I have a client that I was reviewing their business and or all their financials. And I noticed their car insurance was so high and all I've ever seen is they had two little Hyundais in the driveway. And I'm thinking, what in the world are, is going on here? And I I asked them, I said, why is your car insurance so high? And they're like, well, that covers all the three cars. And I said, okay, what what other car? They had this super fancy Mercedes Mm -hmm. in the garage. They never Never once drove. And he was like, I can't retire. We're so broke, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, can you please explain to me why you have this Mercedes that you're not driving it? Oh, it's too nice to drive. And I said, you know, guys, and I, we ended up talking about getting rid of the car, which they did. We reduced the cost of their insurance. They got the money for the car. Now they had some money to do some investing. But these are the kind of things that little, it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. You know, um, it's the little things that all add up. Why is your Cox bill $250 a month? You know, why are you paying for all these different random things, you know? Um, getting people to pay attention to their their coins because when you manage your coins, you can manage your dollars. If you manage your dollars, you can start managing your savings. Yeah. You know, so all of these things add up. So it's really important having someone like you in the arsenal. You know, someone that is going to really look at saving them money but giving them quality products at the same time. Well, and I've had a couple of people say, "Hey, you've only been in the business since December, really January. You know, what do you know?" Well, that's a nice thing for you to say to me because now you give, give me ammo to talk to you. Yeah. Because, hey, I might not be the most knowledgeable 30-year uh, Allstate agent or all this, but guess what? I know all the new stuff. I'm keeping up on it. My staff is excited. And if you have somebody on your side that is willing to go to bat for you and be there for you and uh, know all the latest and greatest things and staying up on that, I'd much rather have somebody that's has six months experience and have a staff that's that I can probably say uh, our family now mm-hmm. that I can say, hey, I'll I'll match against a twenty year person, yeah, because information is information. Well, and I'm sure with Allstate, it's just like my industry. I I am known for two things: premium financing and annuities. I do a lot of that kind of business, and because I'm a top producer in both of those things. They assign me agents at my firm that their only job is to stay on top and be on the best products. And they let me know the cutting edge every single mm-hmm. week. We have a meeting. They're calling me, hey, Cindy, we got something new we need you to be aware of. And that makes me look so fabulous. And I don't have to go digging. Wouldn't it be the same with Allstate? They've got stuff like that for you guys as well? It is. And, you know, I can probably say that I was just... Um acknowledged by the local vice president of Allstate. Well, not just. Every month they send out a, where are you compared to everybody else. Now, there's big boys in town that yeah. if I mentioned your, their name, I'd give them airtime, so I'm not. But, uh, <laughs> for me, it's like, okay, where are we comparing ourselves to them? You know, so my staff and, and Tyler, we look at where they are. Well, guess what? We're with them. We're not, you know, 110 products a month because I don't have the staff for that. But I have a small staff of three people that are grinding, and every month we're making those lists. Yeah. Now, we're eligible for Hawaii trip come February of next year. Uh, My bonuses for next year are going to be off the charts. Why? Because we're doing the right thing now. Yeah. We're a small organization. I want to stay small and do the right thing. 
Would I love to grow? Absolutely. But for for me right now, it's making sure that I'm competing with the big boys and we're on those lists every month. Yeah. And I do some great things with my staff. You know, you taught me that. I have this this month, whoever brings in the most uh, reviews on Yelp and, and my page, I'm going to get them uh, dinner for two. Yeah. And so we do some fun things like that. We shoot hoops. This is Friday. So this Friday, uh, every Friday, we have Hoops Friday. And Tyler will take <laughs> shots. Oh we have a basketball hoop. Very, in the office? In, in the office. <laughs> I want to bring I in a putting it. green. So, uh, uh, and we actually have a, a button that you hit. And I don't know if you follow us on social media. You probably should. But every time we bundle something, I have, whoop, there it is button. That's and, so cute. and my staff hits it. They're excited about it. Uh, we'll do a little dance. Um, it, like I said, I, I use the word family too much, but it is family. Well, that's it's. I think that is so important. That's probably the most important thing you've said, in my opinion, because I have a saying which my friends become my clients mm -hmm. and my clients become my friends. Yeah. I don't differentiate between the two, and I'll tell you why. Because I do life insurance like you do as well, you know, that is really my lane, and it is really important for me to know, like, I have clients or friends that haven't become my clients yet. And for me, that bothers me. I'll tell you why. Because if anything happened to them, yeah. I would not want to be standing there at the funeral having all their family come up going, they're okay, right? So we've got everything covered. Everything's good. Like, everything's going to be okay financially, right? Yeah. And then I have to say no. Because they didn't sit down with me. So for me, to me, you always take care of your family, whether you're dead or alive. Period. That is the only way to do that is life insurance if you're not ridiculously wealthy. Okay, mm -hmm. so for most of us that are living, you know, we, we're, we're doing okay in life, but my gosh, my kids are going to college whether I'm dead or alive. Mm -hmm. You know, that's just because I have multiple life insurance policies, I have life insurance policies on my kids. Why I don't expect them to kick off anytime soon, and I know that sounds really morbid, but. Life insurance policies also today have living benefits. So if something happens to, to my kids, they get sick, and I had to take a year off work to take care of them, I'm okay. Yeah. So I have covered my financial. Why would you work so hard and then not cover yourself in case of peril, something that could happen? And we're not getting out of this life alive. So it's a pretty <laughs> good bet that you're going to die, and if that be the case, if you know you're going to die, it's like putting it all on black and knowing you're going to win. Yeah. Why would you not have at least a little bit of life insurance to protect your assets, to protect your family, all that kind of stuff? So when I hound my friends, I'm like, look, I'm not getting off of this with you. I love you. I want to make sure you're okay. If anything happened to your kid, like if you went, I need to know your kids are okay. Yeah. That would eat me alive. So when you're talking about welcome to the Wagner family, that's huge. Yeah. And for me, it was, okay, I'm from Minnesota. So I, I was the only one that moved out here. My whole family still lives in a small town south of Minneapolis on the Mississippi River. Good quality people, right? And so when I started the agency, I went to my boss and I said, hey, can I get licensed in Minnesota? She's like, uh, you can get licensed in Arizona and California. I'm like, okay, I'm getting licensed. And I am now. So we do business there too. But why I mentioned Minnesota, that's my family. Yeah. So I got licensed in at least life. And okay. now I'm bugging my family and friends. Okay, now we're doing life insurance policies on you guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're in the business now. No, because <laughs> I love you. Right. I want you covered. Yes. And it's cheap now at this age. So let's do it. Yes. And have I gotten anyone yet? Nah. <laughs> but I will. Trust me, I will because I'm going to be like you. I'm going to make sure that you're going to listen to me every time we have a conversation. And I'm going to beat it into you that you need it. Like you, I have a couple policies on me for my sons. Now, I got it years ago. Um, and I knew nothing about it. But luckily, I had uh, an agent from another company that made me educated about it. So yeah. I said, hey, $78 a month, I can afford that. And it's there for them. But yeah, yeah it's, educating people is huge. Well, and, and here's what I would like to add to this. And, and people say, you know, you do sell quite a bit of life insurance. And I'm like, 
that usually goes with other things I'm doing for them financially. But here's where I, what I want to bring alive right now. And I want this for all the listeners to, to hear this. This is super important. Go with me along this, this storyline. So let's just say you as a, a potential client, imagine if you will, you pass away tomorrow. Okay. So the first thing that will happen is, okay, now your family's in shock. Um, You're going to the morgue. And the first thing they're going to be asking is, what funeral home are you going to be having your services? Is your funeral paid for? Yeah. Okay. So now your wife gets to worry about that. Okay. Then the next thing is, who's handling the flower? You know, everything that goes along with the funeral. But here it is. What's the 3rd of June? And, you know, you might get your money coming in, you've made, you're working at your job, your money comes in, but now you're dead. So your earnings stop as of the day that you die, unless you have a pension or whatever already set up. But for those of us that are our age or younger, many of us don't have that. So in 30 days, another house payment is due. Can your wife afford that house payment? And I have a college, a, a girl, my daughter is graduating from college or high school next year. If I went today, she's college is one year from now. Oh. And, and so now your wife is looking at paying for college for your child all by herself. Does your wife even work? Can she make all the household bills by herself if you were not here? And then your son is going to get married in a couple of years. Who's going to pay for the wedding? You know. All of these things that we don't think about um, that life insurance, it's just a quick handle. Like you pass away, your, your wife's getting a half a million dollars and, you know, now she's not forced to get married right away. You know, these kind of things are... That's what we're going with, this, married. <laughs> you know, do you want your wife out there in the dating scene six months later because she's like, crap, I can't afford this by myself. These are things that we need to think about and it's crazy. People laugh, but we have these conversations over their dinner table when I'm talking about this stuff. And the husband's like, yep, let's get some life insurance. <laughs> I don't want to be thinking about yeah, that. Right? You know, yeah. um, all of those things. So we have to, we're not getting out of here alive. These are certain things that we just need to have. You know, it's, it's amazing to me that we're required to insure our vehicle. Mm-hmm. And we may or may not get in an accident one day. We're not required to insure our life, but we're going to die. Yeah. This doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. And that's that's true. You know, everybody says, oh, you're in the best business, recession-proof, whatever. But you could say that and ask people to have insurance on their cars. Yes, they have to, but we have a ton of people in Vegas without insurance on their cars. That's why our insurance are, rates, rates are, are high, so high yeah. underinsured, motorists, all the other things. But... To play off of what you're saying, they don't even invest in themselves. Right. And so that's where we have to educate them yep. of, hey, you're going to save money, bundling, give us your home, give us your auto. The key, life. Yep. What are you doing to make sure that your family is set later? And people don't value that. The, yep. You know, the $50, 80 $100 a month, they would rather go out four times and <laughs> spend it on eating out than yeah. investing in their family and their family's future if you pass away. Well, and that's where it's, it's really up to us to educate the families. You know, um, a lot of women, you know, don't push the issues in their families. But I also have to say this to the men because they're like, oh, you know, I'm the income earner. We're okay. You know, I don't need to insure my wife. And I say, you know, with all due respect, you've got two little ones at home. Do oh. you know how much a nanny would cost or a daycare. So what you're saying is you're going to work your 50, 60 hours a week. You're going to cook dinner for your kids. You're going to get them to and from daycare. You're going to take care of them. You're going to bathe them. And, and then all of a sudden they're like, yeah, I go, yeah, don't discount what it costs to have your wife in your life. Even if she's a, a stay at home mom, because to replace her is going to be minimum $30,000 a year yeah. on a, a child care yeah. minimum. So all of a sudden the husband gets these buggy eyes. I'm like, yeah, you, we need some life insurance on your wife as well. You know, um, and, and we just never know what could happen. So, um, I just want to say, I appreciate you. And, um, 
Tell us, Tom, how we could get a hold of you if we need your services. Yeah, thank you. Um, obviously, we have an extension at, at the office, 702-257-8888. Um, but I love to give out my cell. Uh, okay. Because why? You're going to get me, Tom Wagner, the guy who's going to answer the phone, 930 at night, uh, two nights ago. I'm coming home from a uh, motivational speaker in Henderson. I just happened to be driving on the 215 when a new client calls and says, Tom, my son's stuck on the side of the road. Wow. She had my cell. The reason she had my cell is because I'm on. It's on my business card. Uh-huh. And so I think I'm going to listen to a great motivational speaker who's a good Christian guy out here in Henderson. When in reality, God gave them my cell number for him to get off the freeway. Wow. So I drive up, tow his vehicle off the side of the road. It's dark as oh my all gosh. can be. And I tell that story only because she became family. Yeah. And Tammy put it on social media and blasted it out. That's not why I did it. Why I did it was to make sure she had my cell. So I love people to have my cell, 702-326-3363. Or check out my website, thomaswagnerallstate.com. You can Google Allstate and put Thomas Wagner in. Uh, We're located off the 215 and... and, um, Flamingo, yep. Target Shopping Center, nice Perfect. location. Yes. Uh, we just had a great breakfast place open up next to us. So uh, the the, um, the place is thriving in there. We get some walk-in yeah, traffic. Yeah, I noticed a lot, of, a lot of activity going on. Yeah, there. yeah. so that's good. And then just word of mouth, social yeah. media, Instagram, Facebook, uh, all my accounts are out there. Okay. Um, you Love know, it. all my staff is on social media, so yeah. thank you. So shout out to Tom Wagner and Allstate and... Uh, Hey, if this conversation interests you, get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com and and let's have a chit-chat about how we can uh, support you with your life.